afternoon all. I just got back from one of my fruit and veg shops and currently we are in Imbolc, well in Imbolc Wave still which is the ending of winter pre-spring in the southern hemisphere in Australia and um, if you are <laughs> sha <laughs> oh, the joys of pets <laughs> <laughs> You're farmy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she's totally bombed and uh, distracted and made me forget what I was going to say. <laughs> um, yeah, she likes a camera. <laughs> You're a dag. <laughs> Can you move your butt? I'm trying to shoot the food. Not you. <laughs> Anywho. Where was I? Okay, so in um, Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere, our in bulk or spell of a G at the end, we'll see, depending where you come from. The um, It starts on the 1st of August and, you know, people do sometimes just celebrate it on the day and the day after. But for me, um, I treat it as a seasonal event in true, in that it lasts until the next season well, the next wave of seasonal change hits. So I traditionally would sell, celebrate my in bulk um, and live within in bulk sort of traditions up all the way until Ostara, which in Australia is on the 22nd of September this year. So next week, and I can't wait because it's been a very long, cold winter. <laughs> And I hate wearing heaps of layers of clothes, being tall and big, it just it just feels like even more to carry around. But anyway, I'm digressing. So basically with in bulk it's um it's when nature sends all these signals out. Um and all these signals manifest as the cold starts to thaw. Um signal it's signals are time to prepare like fields or your garden for the approaching sowing season and the approaching sowing season is spring or star um, stolen by Christo Jews and called Easter which is funny because it's a um, it's a stolen and twisted name of Esther which is the goddess herself of spring um, whether you believe in the actual goddess or not or that it's just a name for spring <laughs> doesn't matter there's pagans that believe in both um but anyway I'm digressing again <laughs> so that's that's the land that so that's the um the context of where the nature is on the wheel so it's time to start sowing your seeds for spring getting your ground ready sorry to sow the seeds in spring um it's also time to uh, go introspect and summarize everything you've learned over winter in your hibernation. Um, so basically, with the foods. So what foods is you know pretty much symbolic of in bulk is your spring onions, your onion and your corn, your grains, and there's you know um, I'll I'll actually put a list together, put it in a blog and. That way you can get some inspiration of what to cook using what is best for this time of the year. So you're more in tune with nature and what's happening. Um, just off the top of the head, you can make soda bread with um, soda and uh, baking soda, that is, and soy milk. I'm vegan, so I don't use animals for anything. Uh, cashews, use cashews to make cheese, which is really yummy, but I'll, I don't really have it because of the fat. I'm not really a nut eater. Uh, cornbread with sprigs of rosemary is absolutely yummy. <laughs> Especially if you have something that you can dip into it, like you might have a baked eggplant or, you know, use your imagination. Uh, blackberry and vanilla cake is another yummy thing I like. And pretty much you always want to have cake and some form of drink which is red grape juice or cranberry or pomegranate or combine them all um, and you always should have those at 
you know, these, whenever you're doing a ritual or if you're doing spell work, you need to have, I don't call it wine, I call it fruit juice. Um, to me, alcohol is a Jew, Jew thing, and I totally have nothing to do with it. It sickens me. Um, so I have a, always have some form of red pigment, fruit juice, and a cake. So going back to our other foodie ideas is cinnamon pancakes, cinnamon cupcakes, They're very yummy. I might do some of these and then show you how easy they are, especially done vegan. Spring onions, scones, made with applesauce instead of butter. Um, doing slow cooked stews with bay leaves in there. Bay leaves are um, also symbolic of embolk. Um, onion and leek soup garlic and olive pasta sauce over pasta or baked potatoes uh, raisins and dried fruit and uh, fermented foods are also symbolic of this time of the year along with cornmeal, potatoes and peppermint grains so your pastas, your breads um, I do recommend to make your own though because you may have a vegan um, sauce but it's got fat in it and the fats aren't good either. Um, if you're going to have fat be in its natural form, i.e. The, the minute amount that is already present in a banana or in your, your veg, um, the fats are just as bad as animal produce and it's one of the main reasons why, besides the ethical and spiritual side of things, that um, animal products are so bad. Um, so, you know, if you want to be bold, fat and impotent, eat the fat. <laughs> That's where you head. Um, so going back to food, cinnamon and blackberries, basil, rosemary are also foods of this time of the year. Um, going back to your corn cobs, about a week before Ostara, I will actually hang three corns of cob, <laughs> two, three co cobs of corn. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. On my front door, um, and that symbolizes the there are three aspects of the goddess the the, the maiden mother and crone and um, at this time of year your the crone is returning back to the form of a maiden um, the sun king or the gods are in their young youthful male form they haven't grown up yet so Back to foods, I also like um, making loaves, sweet loaves of raisins with uh, vanilla. Uh, peppermint, I, I don't mind having um, like a warm soy milk, non-fat soy milk with peppermint um, essence, natural peppermint essence, I love that. Um, also potato and spring onion soup or a gratin. Uh, nutritional yeast is one of those essentials if you're a vegan, a tablespoon of that and you'll have the vitamin B12 you need without all the crap and at the end of the day animals are injected with it as well so when people are eating the animals for vitamin B12 they're actually getting it from the injections and all the drugs in the first place so it's better to have a natural form of vitamin B12 without all the nasty stuff. Um, so. Other ideas is uh, vanilla bread with dried fruit, so go to town and dried pineapple, pawpaw, whatever you have or whatever you've had from the, the last harvest that you've dried up if you have that or whatever's available at the shop. Um, I like apricot, so your organic apricot, so if, if you're getting dried apricots make sure they're black so they don't have the, the chemical in them that makes them go, um, sorry, makes them all bright orange because that's not really the best of things. You're better off just putting fresh apricot in your bread than eating that stuff. But yeah, so that's just a few ideas and I think one of the, the biggest benefits